Hey, what's up, guys? It is Celeb back again for another video. This time around, we're here with a demo for Square Enix upcoming title, Visions of Mana. This demo was just released. The game is set to release on August 29th. And I know a ton of people out there are super excited for this title. Now, me particularly, I've never been a big fan of the, the Mana series or, you know, I never even played, you know, Secret of Mana. I never played the original games or nothing. This is literally the first time I've ever played one of the Mana titles in my life. Um, I'm not a real big Final Fantasy guy. I'm not real big on a lot of these different type of games. But I know there's a lot of people that are really excited about this. So uh, right whenever the demo released, I wanted to share the gameplay with you guys. This is the full gameplay of the demo. And from what it seems, there is actually a lot to do in this demo. Now, I did have a lot of fun uh, playing this game. So I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe this game just won me over. So Lab is going to be a mana fan. I don't know. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoy. Please make sure to check us out at Cinelinks.com for some of the latest and greatest geek news, movie news, and gaming news. Great content and great content creators right over at Cinelinks. And also, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. We've got some really great content coming soon, uh, as well as our upcoming review for Steam World Heist 2. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace out. Look! That thing is frozen solid. Yep, nothing more than a block of ice. Wait! It's melting, see? Oh. Are you okay? You were frozen solid a second ago. Did that plant thing drop something back there? Yeah, it looks like a diary, maybe? Well, are you gonna read it or what? Karina, I can't just read that cactus's private thoughts, right? Or can I? I think you can. As long as you give it back to him next time we cross paths. Come on. I'll carry on from here. It's moving a little fast, huh? This is a good time to try out the powers of the Lunar Globe. Grab me power! Everything slowed down. Watch your step here. Taking this. I'm on it. <sighs> Time for a break. I love 
love this kind of fight. Especially after leaving Earth. Anything would be better. Don't you feel more energetic to me, though? Amazing what two stars can do. <laughs> Sounds like Ramco agrees with you. Ramco, this should be the last one. Before you can challenge us, I'll deal with this. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Got it. Keep your guard up walking through here. Me, or is this area team in with monsters? After we defeat the first wave of attacks, we should be ready for more enemies rushing in from the shadows. These monsters fight in packs. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I can tell there are more out there. Hina, stand back, okay? You don't want to get caught up in the fray. Leave the healing to me, but don't do anything too reckless. I'll take you all on. the last of them well that wasn't so bad now that Morley's here I can take a break a soul guard has to look after the alms but it helps that you can handle yourselves in a fight thanks for the assistance 
way to make me feel guilty thing. Just stop smiling at me like that. We're nearly to fellow step. Come on. Those monsters just kept coming, huh? There are bound to be more encounters like that in the future. Be prepared for an attack at any moment. That's the best way to stay sharp. Doesn't hurt. Feel that warmth. Like waking up from hibernation after a long, cold winter. Beyond the steppe is Rata Harbor, but something's off. Milpa is away, it seems. Who is Milpa? A friend of yours? He owns this ranch. He taught me swordsmanship when I first arrived in Ilistana. He's quite gifted with a blade. And I had hoped to ask him for some assistance before we cross the steppe. I didn't know you used to live in Ilistana, Morley. Well, with Etern gone, I was left alone. Thankfully, I was taken in by someone who lives in Ilistana. I've stayed in touch with him ever since. It was through my newfound guardian that I was introduced to Milpa. Huh. Guess everyone's got a story, don't they? Life's full of surprises. I am glad to know at least one of us has been to Ilistana before. I should be able to keep us from getting lost once we reach the city. Hmm, if Milba is out, then... I suppose we'll just have to continue on foot. That's some ranch! Does Milba take care of this place? All on his own? He d Us. Wow! That's... Gotta be a lot of work. This meal bus sounds like a pretty impressive person if you ask me. I got this. I don't see the Pakuls. Morley, I see you've returned. Whoa! What is this thing? Is it a dog? A bear? Don't fret. This little one won't harm you. It's been a while, Milpa. Good to see you with companions this time. This is assuming you aren't their hired blade. These are my friends. Friends? I see. Gone is the dour look you sported when we last met. May I ask what caused this change of heart? I was appointed the Alm of the Moon upon visiting Etern. Alm of the Moon, is it? Your devotion to the past and reverence for the power of time must have rekindled the elemental spirits. Now you have been entrusted with the future. I am proud of you, Morley. Niccolo and I have long been wanting something like this for you. Thank you, Milba. Come, we cannot have the Alms wasting precious days on a long trek. Time waits for no one, 
nor should it. You must be off to the mana tree to create a new age for us all. used to be wild pikuls. Milpa cares for them. Don't worry, they're tame. We should be able to traverse the steppe in no time on pikuls. Get on. <laughs> Take this. Whenever you need a ride, you can summon the pikuls with that bell. May the blessings of mana be with you on your journey. We are in your debt. Take care, Milpa. Shall we get going? We should stick with the group. Let's go. Hold on tight, Hina. Oh, I will. I cannot describe how wonderful it felt to ride across the vast countryside on the back of Epicool, together with Val on our way to the Tree of Mana. I wished that we could continue our exhilarating adventure forever and ever. If only it could be. Now and for always. It was heartening to see Milpa again after so long. The harbor isn't far if we take the Pikuls. They're so fast. I think I've already got the hang of riding them, though. Onward through the steppe and Rata Harbor beyond! Is that a deer? Look at it jump! I love Karina's curiosity. It makes the journey interesting for everyone. She did. This trip to the mana tree is way more fun than I thought it would be. Hina and me crossing the step together. If only we could do this for the rest of our days. What a dream. Forward, my trusty steed! See you later! Me again. spirits here but nothing happens when we touch it remember this place so we can return later let's head to rata first the air feels different here than in the veil don't you think Rambo? <laughs> missing longgren already what me no way i'm having the time of my life Time to ride. 
this. made this journey a thousand times at this point, and yet, everything seems so much greener than it used to. I bet it's your attitude adjustment that's doing the trick. Your important mission from the Moon Elemental is making you see the world through fresh eyes. Huh. Perhaps. I do have a duty now as the Alm of the Moon. We really? will meet again. have very acute hearing, and Milpas trained them well. Sounds great! The Quills will always be welcome in this convoy. Gotcha. should have paid more attention to how an Alm is supposed to act. Oh, they taught us how to be a good Alm back in Tiania. Alms must follow a healthy lifestyle. Early to bed, early to rise, stuff like that. That's been my practice this whole time. I guess I'm doing okay in my role already. You need to learn how to cut loose, Morley. See you later. meet again.
we had the Bakuls to take us so far. How long would the walk take, I wonder? My feet are thankful for the Bakuls. Walking that whole way? Nothing. I was prepared to walk if I wasn't able to assist us. I forgot it didn't come to that. It's useless to run. Understood. Got it. Woohoo! That ship can take us across the sea to the capital of the deep. and take a good look. For some guy earlier, right? It was barely a stumble and no one was hurt. I doubt it'll come to anything. Well... I'd like to look around the town before we go. Ooh, me too. I want to talk to the townsfolk. Sure. Let's take a break in Rata for now. Yes! 
Taking this? Hmm? It's gone! Oh, no, no, no! Is something amiss, Master Pazor? Ah! The key! It's gone! Aha! Thief! You must have made off with it when you attacked me so viciously earlier! Who, me? A thief? Are you joking? Produce the key this instant! But I didn't steal your key! If you relent now, I will ensure that your sentence is light. Get the fur out of your ears! I said I didn't steal anything! Go bother someone else with your temper tantrum. Oh no, Karina seems to have picked a fight with the wrong individual. You know that guy? That's Passar, one of Ilistana's most notoriously ambitious magistrates. Rumor has it he has his sights set on the throne. In any case, he'd have no trouble pinning a petty crime on an innocent bystander. We should step in before this escalates into something we can't handle. this! Karina isn't a thief! You've got the wrong person! And who might you be? An accomplice to this vile criminal? Let me be perfectly clear. She stole nothing from you. Fine! If you reprobates will not surrender the key, you can go looking for it. This girl will be held under suspicion of theft until you produce my effects. Understood? If you cannot find my purloined property, you and your band of hooligans will be tossed overboard the prim. Perhaps the fishes of the deep will be more lenient towards larceny. Don't worry, okay? I'll find it. I promise. How? We don't have a clue where that jerk dropped his key. What if you can't find it, huh? Then we'll all get keel hauled. We can still make a break for it, you know. Just say the word. You're coming with us. No thieving newcomer will ever escape justice. I may be a newcomer, but I'm no thief, you morons. You gotta believe me. Believe you? Ha! Who would trust such a rowdy delinquent? We believe you, Karina. <laughs> okay. Guess I gotta search the town. There's no way Karina stole from that blowhard. Just you wait. I'll find that key. It's gotta be somewhere in town. I'll ask around and see if anyone has a lead. I can handle this. We've got what you need. Would you like to peruse the wares? Thank you! Would you like to peruse- Thank you! Would you like to peruse- Thank you! We've got what you need. Come again. Hey there. Welcome. What'll it be?
You have a good eye. You have a good eye. Thank you for your purchase. You have a good eye. Thank you for your purchase. Have a good eye. Thank you for your purchase. Come again. Welcome, welcome. Again soon. This is kind of exciting. Is this? A man named Pasar asked us to search for something of his. Have you seen a missing key anywhere? I don't know about a key, but this case got sent here by mistake. It looks like one of the magistrate's boxes. Maybe what you're looking for is in there. Do you mind if I check inside? <laughs> of course, of course. Hold your horses. Why give it back when you could have a little fun? Hey, Orin? Is that really you? Don't worry. I've been keeping tabs on the situation. You go on ahead to the magistrate. I'll meet you there. <clears throat> Orin looks well. well. That's good to see. But how's he planning on getting the missing key back to that guy? Couldn't I just hand it over? Hmm. Better go back and check on them. Now then. Have you located my key? Hey, mister. Mm -hmm. There's something stuck to your back. <laughs> oh, look. I think it's a key. Is this what you were making people look all over town for? <laughs> Guess it was here all along. Uh, but... How did, did it? Well, I'm not surprised you didn't notice. Even a magistrate doesn't have eyes on the back of his head. <laughs> 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 so 
So that geezer had the key the whole time? What a wasted effort on our part. Don't tell anyone, but Val actually managed to find the key. I just helped to get back to Passar. Hopefully this way we can all avoid any aspersions cast on our names. There, Karina. Now we can leave the port without any trouble. Hopefully this hasn't ruined your excitement for the boat ride. Though Passar will be joining us for the voyage, unfortunately. I was in trouble back there, so what I mean to say is, thanks. Come again? I said, thanks everyone! Jeez, you see what happens when you play nice? You end up running errands for blockheaded diplomats. I wasn't playing nice. I was helping a friend in need. That's all. Plus, I am the Soul Guard. It's my duty to protect the alms from harm, both physical and reputational. I won't let anything happen to you guys. Fine. Whatever you say. Now that all that funny business is over, can we get a move on? <laughs> 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 Yeah, we better hurry on to that ship before it departs. That is where you're headed to, right? Come on! I totally missed when Orin planted the key back on that official. Oh well, at least Karina's in the clear. We should be able to set sail now. Am I missing anything? Better check before getting on the boat. The Prim will be leaving the dock shortly. All passengers, please board at your earliest convenience. We won't be able to come back here for a while once we set sail. Did I forget anything? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Orin, I wasn't expecting that trick of yours. It was pretty risky considering the target. <laughs> I like to keep things interesting. What a coincidence that we meet up again here of all places. You left so suddenly last time. Sorry about that. You two looked like you had everything covered. Traveling with some new friends, I see. Yeah, they're alms too. Karina, the alm of wind, and Morley. The Alm of the Moon. Really? The Alm of the Moon too, huh? Never thought we'd see another one after a Terran fell. Guess I was wrong. Speaking of alms, did you know there was once a time when we didn't have alms as sacrifices? What? Really? That's weird. That's the first I've heard of it. And here I thought I'd read every history book in the village. It probably wasn't written in any of your local texts, Tina. It's a tale from ancient times. Whoa! The tale of the legendary mana sword of the champion of the mana goddess. A legendary sword? Now that does sound like a fairy tale. Exactly. Stories of the goddess's all-powerful sword were passed down from generation to generation. Now it's little more than myth. So, generations ago, the alms didn't make the pilgrimage? Hard to imagine a time like that. No alms, no soul guard, no nothing. Back then, things were totally different from what we know today. So how and why did everything change? I suppose... I never thought about it, really. Well, that was weird. Orin knows some strange stories. I don't think anyone knows how and why the Alms pilgrimage came about. Or at least, I definitely don't. No use worrying about it now. Uh -huh.
Something has upset the water spirits. Uh-huh. The spirits? Something's wrong. The sky shouldn't look like this. Anyone know if Hina's still on deck? She might have seen something. We'll be more... Okay, Hina? The boat's pitching quite a bit. Val, there's something in the water. I saw it right over there. Is some storm. Careful of the swell of the waves. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> I gotta keep it steady. Just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> 
fight. For sure. Glad we made it out alive. <laughs> uh. Land ho! Look there! That's got to be the harbor. Hey, you two. That was some impressive fighting back there. <laughs> I told you, Val is the strongest swordsman in our village. I see that. It was quite a show. Didn't expect that monster to turn into a rock like that, though. Yeah, sometimes I can turn monsters into stones when I fight them. I don't know why, but it's something I've always been able to do. I tried researching the topic, but I couldn't find any leads. Well, maybe it's something you'll never really be able to understand. Another mystery for the history books. The world's full of them. Look there. You can see the Manador continent. Hina, I promise that I'll never let a monster like that harm you. Ever, okay? I'll protect you. <laughs> I know that, silly. It's your job, after all. Yeah, but even if it weren't, 
We're taking the same path tread by hundreds of alms before us. We have to protect the future by journeying to the mana tree. I'll see you safely wherever you need to go. I won't let you down, Hina. We alms of the Trinia continent, fire, wind, and the moon, cross Talon Strait as we travel to Ilistana, capital of the deep. Alms customarily receive blessings from the Queen of Ilistana at the rites of initiation, as she prays for their safe passage to the Tree of Mana. It's a time-honored tradition and an integral part of the pilgrimage. Other alms are meant to meet us in the capital as well. New companions to join our bonded group. But after the destruction of the Earth Village, there is no alm of Earth to make the journey. I fear for the world, now bereft of the blessings of the Earth Elemental. Be that as it may, I can't help the spark of excitement in my heart at the thought of all the new places and friends that await us. Visions of mana!